Hi, I'm Mark, and today I'll be talking about our line of Luxie polishing compounds and how to choose the right one for the job. The Luxie line is much safer to use than other compounds. They're made from vegetable fats and other non-hazardous materials such as aluminum. Because they are vegetable fat based, they will stay on the buff longer, which means you'll use less compound. Luxie is also water soluble, which makes it much easier to clean up. The goal of buffing and polishing is to smooth out a rough surface, and each piece is going to be a slightly different stage. So we're going to have to use a variety of different methods to achieve that perfect finish. The Luxi Black is very aggressive and is a great starting point after 180 grit sandpaper. It can be used on lap wheels, muslin, sisal, and treated buffs, and this is ideal for removing scratches from platinum and stainless steel. For this sample, I'm using the Luxi Black with a stitched muslin buff. Although we're using the durable direct flow system, it's always a good idea to wear eye protection and a dust mask or respirator. Also, please remember to tie up any loose clothing and hair. As you can see, I'm using alligator skin on my fingers, which protects me from minor cuts, abrasions, and heat. When buffing, you are working with a wheel spinning at several thousand RPMs, which can make your piece very hot. So it's a good idea to keep a cup of water handy to cool the piece as you're working. So here's the dome after polishing half of it with the Luxie Black. As you can see, it really cut the dome quickly and has eliminated most of the heavy scratches left from the 180 grit sandpaper. The Luxie Yellow is good to apply after sanding with 240 to 320 grit sandpaper. It should also be used with non-treated muslin or felt stitched buffs running at about 3000 RPM. This compound can be used on brass, bronze, silver, and polymer pieces. The yellow, like all the Luxie compounds, is silica free and composed of aluminum abrasive in a water soluble binder. Here's the result after polishing half the dome with the Luxie yellow. You can see that the polished half is very smooth when compared to the 220 grit sandpaper. And there is a minimal amount of dark residue left that is easily cleaned. The Luxie green is great if you want to hand polish at a lower RPM. It's perfect for polishing gold, silver, platinum, and titanium, as well as brass, and all non-precious metals. You can use this with a muslin buff for scratch removal from 240 grit sandpaper or a loose fold flannel buff for a high luster finish. So here's the dome after polishing half with the green. So we can clearly see the transition between the 400 grit sandpaper with very minimal residue. We can either end here or go on to the Luxie Red. Next is putting on that lustrous high polish. This is the step that really catches people's eyes. Use the Luxie Red compound anytime you'd use a traditional red rouge. It's ideal for the final polishing of gold and silver to a high luster. For best results, use with a 6 inch loose fold buff at about 3000 RPM. Here's a stunningly bright and smooth finish after using the red. I took the already gray polish from the green and kicked it up a notch. I would call this done. If you're polishing at your bench or on a small lathe, try the Asian blue followed by the green or purple as these compounds work best at lower speeds and temperatures. If you're at a polishing cabinet, try starting with the yellow or blue and finishing with the super fine white or red because these compounds are engineered to perform more efficiently at the high speed and temperatures these motors create. Please keep in mind that this process is somewhat subjective. You might feel that the Luxy Red gives the best polish while others are going to feel that the Luxi Green is a superior finish. But that's why we have the Luxi Sample Bar Assortment Kit. In it, it contains all the different colors, which will allow you to be adventurous and experiment a little bit. But if you do, just be sure to dedicate a buff to each color to avoid cross-contamination. If you can't do that, just make sure that you rake the buff really well to expose new fibers before adding a different color. I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, give us a call at 1-800-545-6566 or visit us at riogrande.com.